Hello everyone, I am back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can download and install Eclipse IDE 202006 on Windows 10. So that's been said, let's get started. Eclipse IDE is a very popular IDE used for Java development. So in this video, we are going to discuss how we can install and set up Eclipse IDE 202006 on Windows 10 for Java development. Before installing Eclipse IDE 2020.06 on our Windows 10, we have to install and set up Java JDK on our system. So I had already made a video on how you can download and install Java JDK 14 on your Windows 10 computer. So the video link will be on the i button or you will get the video link in the description box. Now let us discuss how we can download and install Eclipse IDE 2020.06 on our Windows 10 computer. For that, just open your browser and search for Eclipse IDE and open the link from eclipse.org don't worry about the download link the download link will be on the description box so here we have the official website of Eclipse from where we can download Eclipse IDE so here you can get an option called download click on download and here we can see the latest version of Eclipse IDE is 2020.06 so just click on download 64 bit and here we have the download option click on download it will ask you to donate so if you wish you can donate to eclipse foundation or you can just continue with the download process so here you can see it is downloading and it is around 62 mb so let me complete the download process and after that i will show you how you can properly set up eclipse ide for java development our download has been completed now just open the file so here we have Eclipse installer. Let me minimize the browser. So here we have an error. So we need to update this Eclipse installer. To update this Eclipse installer, simply click on this hamburger menu and here you will find option called update. Click on update and here just accept all the license agreement. So our Eclipse installer is successfully updated to the newer version. Now let me show you how you can set up Eclipse ID for Java. Here we have different option for Eclipse. So we are just going to download Eclipse ID for Java developer. This is the version of Eclipse. This is our Java JDK version and this is the installation location where Eclipse is going to install and it will automatically create shortcut for your desktop and menu shortcut. To install simply click on install. And here we have to accept some license agreement from Eclipse Foundation. And here you can see it is installing. Here you have to accept the unsigned content. To accept that, just click on accept. We had successfully installed Eclipse ID for Java developers. Now let us launch the software. This is our workspace location. So all the project will be saved on this location. If you want to change this location, you can change by clicking on this browse button. But I will suggest you to keep it default. Then click on launch. Here we have the welcome window. Let me maximize the window. Here you will get all the necessary information regarding Eclipse ID for Java developers. So let me close this welcome window. And here you will also get a donation window for Eclipse Foundation. So if you want to donate to Eclipse Foundation, then you can donate. So let me close this donate window. So this way you can install and set up Eclipse IDE for Java development. Now let me show you how you can create your first Java application using Eclipse IDE. You can click on a create Java project or you can create a project or you can simply import project. But we are going to create a new project for that simply click on file then click on new and here simply select Java project. Here just name your project say for example test and here we have the java version and simply click on next so this is our project hierarchy so here we have our java project folder and inside this folder we get a source folder inside this source folder all our java project file will be saved so let me click on finish here we have to create module info.java file so let us name as test module then click on create so here we have our test module java file now we need to create one package to create a package simply click on this source folder then right click on it then go to new and here you will find a option called package 
simply name the package say for example test package then click on finish inside this package we need to create our class file for that simply right click on it click on new then here select class let me name my class as demo and here you can select super object and here you can select the method let me select public static void main function then click on finish so here we have our first java program so this is our package name that is test package and this is our main class file that is demo now here we can start some coding now let me show you how you can run your first hello world project using eclipse ide so let me write system dot out dot print ln then let me close this statement and here let me write double quotes and inside this double quotes let me write hello world now to run this program you need to save this file to save the file just click on file then here you will find save all option click on save all now to run this here you will find a run option click on run or you can use control plus f11 so here you can see on our console here we have hello world similarly you can print other statement so let me print welcome to the coder world youtube channel so to save the files again go to file then click on save all then click on run and here on our console here we have welcome to the coder world youtube channel if you want to learn java programming then we already have a playlist for java beginners so you can check that playlist playlist link will be on the i button or you will get in the description box so that's it for this video hope this video was helpful to you if you find this video helpful don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this bye for now see you in next video